G'day and welcome to the first video on uh, sketching quadratic graphs. Um, this time we're going to use the turning point form rather than the intercept uh, method. The intercept method was when we had this one up here, um, ax squared plus bx plus c, and we factorized that and made it, um, you know, make it, made it equal zero to find the x-intercepts. We knew the y-intercept and we found the turning point. This time we're actually going to use a different method to still sketch the same uh, things. We're still going to get the x-intercept, the y-intercepts and the turning point. But um, this, this form here will be a little bit different um, than, than this form up here. Okay, so let's get started. The first um, example I've got is um, x minus 5 all squared uh, minus 4. Now, if I want to get the x-intercept and the y-intercept, I still do the exact same thing as I've done in the past. I make x equals 0 and I make y equals 0. Now, the easier one for this one is uh, make the, to find the y-intercept. In fact, y-intercept is usually always easier. So I make x equals 0. Now, it's not negative 4. The, the y-intercept will not be negative 4. Okay? You actually need to substitute x equals 0 in and, uh, and solve uh, you know, what it is. Um, whereas in the other end, where the intercept form, it was just this number at the back. It's not the case for this one here. So I end up getting negative 5 squared, which is 25, minus 4, which ends up being 21. So I go and put you know 21 on my uh, graph over here. I'm not really concerned too much with the scale. It's more labeling the points that I'm, I'm concerned about at the moment. Now I need to find the x-intercepts. And again, I make y equals 0. And I get something that looks a little bit like this, x minus 5 squared minus 4. Now there's a variety of ways of, of going about this now. One way that you could do it is you could actually bring that negative 4 into um, the bracket like a difference of two squares. Might just do that one down here. Um, x minus 5 plus 2. Um, x minus 5 minus 2. And then uh, sort of go from there. Um, you know, that equals 0. And then you could say that you know x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 7. Um, I've made a mistake somewhere. Here, I reckon I might have made it somewhere on the graph. No, I've seen my mistake. I, I, I've done too many steps too quickly. So let me rub out all of that, I hope. Yep. And so it's x minus 3 equals 0, and x minus 7 equals 0. So x ends up being 3, and ends, x ends up being 7. Now that method is completely acceptable. That's fine. But I reckon you guys already know how to do that. So I'm going to show you a different method. Um, it works out the same answer and it doesn't matter which one you use um, you just choose the one that you want to do um, the one that you feel most comfortable with so here I've got x minus 5 all squared minus 4 I'm going to put that 4 onto the other side and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this um, square here the only way to get rid of a square is to get the square root so I'm going to get the square root of both sides and the square root of 4 remember in uh, like you know, maths that we've done in the past the answer would just be two but in big school maths and you know what we're heading into now that's actually going to be plus and minus two there's always two answers so x minus five equals plus and minus two now i'm going to add five to both sides and so i end up getting five plus or minus two and as you can see those are the two answers um, x is seven and x is three and i pop those two things in there the turning point is the last thing that we need to do. For this, for these ones, the reason it's called the turning point form is because um, what we've got here um, in our graph, oh, where are we? Um, what, what I've got here in my equation, I've actually got the turning point there. Um, uh, what I'll do is, is I'll explore this a little bit later um, you know, in another video, um, how we actually come about doing this. Um, but for the moment, um, you can just believe me, or hopefully you can, you can just believe me, that the turning point is actually um, this a value here will be the y value of the turning point and the opposite of this value here what i mean by the opposite is you know if that's negative five the opposite would be positive five it's not quite the opposite but you know if you get what i mean the opposite of this one here and this one here so that's the y value and this the opposite of this one is the x value so for in, in this case the turning point is negative four is the y value and the the x value is five we could have worked that out just by, you know, finding the x value of, um, you know, like uh, doing 7 plus 3 is 10 divided by 2, which is 5, to get the axis of symmetry like we've done in the past. But I can also just read it off this um, here. So that would just be um, positive 5 and negative 4. Okay, I pop that in and then I just connect all the dots and I end up getting um, my graph here. Okay, so it's the same, very similar process that we've done in the past, just it looks a little bit different. Um, we x equals 0 to find the y-intercept. We have to do a few calculations. 
y equals zero again we have to do a few calculations to get the um the, the y the x values the, um, x intercepts and then the turning point um is is also what i need to get and i read that off the graph so thanks uh, very much for watching this video that's just the first example there'll be a couple more videos to explain uh the rest of it so uh thanks very much